In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're showing you how to emulate a motion graphic title by using the tools only available in the Title Designer in CyberLink PowerDirector 19 or 365. We've done a little bit about the first segment where we put two titles together and then turn them into a graphic. In this part, we're going to add the third title and the fourth title. I have here on my tracks, as I've worked them so far, a video, and I have a title followed by, on the lower track, a copy of that title as a graphic image that doesn't fill the entire screen. So my next step in the process is to work on title number three. I go back into my title room, click on my default title, and I'll drag and drop it down. Now what I want to do now is I want to add with PowerDirector. So I'm going to double click on my title, and then I'll highlight it. I'm going to turn it to a different color font so we can see it easily and let's change the size from 48 let's go to maybe a 40 and we'll make it bold and we're going to take that and put it right here and let me move it up a little bit okay so what we want to do now is we want to position the graphic so it's over the title and it simply reveals it i'm going to do Control a and i'll type in with power director Uh, let's make it a little smaller and we'll center it on the screen. Okay, that looks good. Now we have that title and we also, I'm going to click on OK. Now we have the graphic image on the track below it. I'm going to take this graphic image of Make Your Title and we're going to keyframe it. So I double click on it and I'm going to move it up. So we'll start at the beginning on the position value. And then we'll go in this way, and I'll set another keyframe. And then I'm going to move it up. And we'll click on OK. I had the power director, the with power director, I put it in the wrong place. So we're just going to adjust that slightly. I need to move this up as well. Okay, so it starts out behind my title. Okay, click on OK. Okay, now what will happen when we start this segment, you make your videos, and then it moves up, and then we have with PowerDirector. So I've taken the graphic image that I find here, and I've started it out with my keyframes right on top of the with power director I just added and then we're going to move it up I think I'll stop here I think I like that here I'll set a keyframe and we'll take away the last one that's too high I'll remove that one okay so that should now move and reveal underneath it my with power director that looks good I'll click on OK so now I have three of the four titles that I'm going to be using in this particular example so what I want to do again is move over just slightly and I'm going to cut the end off of the graphic image and the title. Do Control T and then we'll delete these two elements here. Now what I need to do is go back a frame. I'm going to use the comma key and I need to create a image. This image will now reflect all of these because now they need to move together again. So I'm going to do Control P to create an image. I'll call this X, Y, Z, Z. Doesn't matter what you call it. I'm going to take that, go to the media room. There it is. Drag it down and put it on track number two. And what we need to do now that we have this image, and I can leave it full screen, is I need to shrink it and move it slightly up 
because I'm going to put some more text on number three. So let's do the shrinking first. I'll click here. And we're going to keyframe it again. We're going to do position and scale. I'll set a position and scale value to start with. And then we'll move in slightly. And we'll take this and we'll shrink it down a little bit and move it up a little bit and go OK. We'll get into our title designer. We'll uh, highlight it all, change the color so we can see it. Let's go to a green, a bright green. OK, we're going to change the font size. Maybe go back to a 26. And we want it to say by Cyberlink. And we'll center that on the screen. OK, I want it to start behind the graphic. So we'll leave it up here. And then what we will do is we will keyframe that. I'll do a position keyframe. We'll move forward a bit. And as that shrinks up, we'll move this down and click on OK. Let's see if we've got the timing and the, the spacing correct here. OK, we have by Cyberlink. OK, we need to do another title reveal mask. Let's go back to the title. We're going to go to our second keyframe. That's where we want it, right below the power director. We're going to click the down arrow, go to title reveal mask. Again, it will mask the entire graphic. I'm going to turn off maintain aspect ratio. And that we're going to mask right below the width power director. It can be bigger than I need. It shouldn't be smaller than I need. Click on OK. So now let's try to see what we have. And then that will be the end of this tutorial. You can use this technique to modify something to look like a motion graphic title whenever you want to in CyberLink PowerDirector.